Welcome everyone to Begin With Breath Tai Chi. My name is Dr. Adam Potts, the Tai Chi PT, and today is Tai Chi for Wellness, the Three Treasures. All right, so I actually wanted to give you a little introduction to the Three Treasures today, and then we'll do a 15-minute Tai Chi flow for wellness, followed by a bonus lesson. We're actually gonna do a guided meditation on the Three Treasures, so we can really cultivate this energy and really create inner peace and balance. And so if you can hear me okay, please type in Team Live in the comments if you're here live. If you're on the replay, type in Team Replay. All right, and then if you're getting benefit from this class each week, please click the like button that sends this out to more people. All right, and welcome to all the people from the UK. We have a lot of new people from overseas, and so welcome to the community. So glad to have you here. All right, and then I have two quick announcements. The first one is if you're a new member of our community, please click on the link either above or below the video in the video description and register for your new member webinar and introduction to Tai Chi. It's gonna be this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. All right, we actually have a lot of free stuff coming up, so keep an eye on your email if you're, if you're on our email list, um, or you can just send me a message. Um, if you wanna know what's next, then I'll let you know. All right, so now the webinar is via Zoom, so you have to register in order to attend. Register even if you can't make it, and I'll send you the link to the replay. All right, and then also, this Saturday, we're also having another bonus webinar at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, USA, and that's gonna be, it's called Teach, Transform, and Thrive, How to Become a Tai Chi Teacher. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the steps you need to take if you wanna become certified in the Begin With Breath approach to Tai Chi. We have our level one teacher training starting this summer. All right, so if you're interested in sharing this with others or just wanna go deeper on your own path, we have an option to where you don't have to do the testing if you just want a, a deep experience. Um, it's 100% online, so you can do it from anywhere in the world. All right, so there's a link also in the video description above or below the video. So just click on the link. It'll bring you to the information page and, um, oh wait, I'm sorry, no, it'll bring you to the webinar uh, page to where you can register for your webinar. All right, now the webinar is free also. So it'll probably be about an hour. So each one's about an hour. All right, so feel free to register for those if you're interested. Uh, so the first one is the new member webinar. So if you're new, please register for that. I think you're gonna really love it. And then also, if you are interested in learning to be a teacher or just wanna go deeper, then register for the other one too. All right, so with that said, I wanna introduce you all to the three treasures. All right, so this is in traditional Chinese medicine in Tai Chi. All right, so some of this stuff may seem esoteric. So I always like to say, if it don't apply, let it fly. All right, if you just like coming and moving, then that's perfectly fine. You don't have to follow all the fundamental philosophy. All right, you can just simply move with us and have a great time and get all the benefits of Tai Chi. But some people really like to know, like what's behind the scenes? Where does this stuff come from? and what exactly is going on or what's thought to be going on. Because a lot of the stuff can't quite be explained or measured. So for instance, chi or energy is something that in the West we don't always focus on because we can't really measure it, so to speak. And so um, I, and me personally, I have a science background. I'm a physical therapist. And so I like to do things with a lot of research backed on it. So I don't focus so much on it, but I do think it's really interesting. And I do think it's very possible that a lot of this stuff is very much happening beneath the surface. All right, so I wanna share my screen with you and I'm gonna introduce you to the three treasures. All right. So this was actually in the post for the week too. So if you wanna learn more, you can also go to the post. All right, so the three treasures is a concept. It's actually a theoretical framework used with traditional Chinese medicine, Qigong, and Tai Chi. All right, it involves three types of energies, Jing, Qi, and Shen. All right, the three treasures are internal qualities or attributes that can be cultivated and refined in the three major energy centers, or Dantians. So Dantian means reservoir of energy. All right, and it's thought that we have energy that flows through our body and it tends to kind of accumulate dirt in these areas, but really it's where transformation happens. All right, so Jing refers to our creative essence and sexual energy. So that's at the lower Dantian. All right, so you'll see that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you where the uh, Dantians are, but basically it's, by the, it's in the abdomen, the lower abdomen. Once again, you can't see this or measure it, so it's, it's more of a theory. Uh, theory. 
All right, but the, this energy or essence is turned into qi, which is thought to be vitality at the lower dantian. All right, then we have qi, which refers to our vitality or our life force energy. All right, and then this energy is turned into shen or spirit at the middle dantian. So that's pretty much at the heart center. All right, then shen refers to spirit or heart mind. All right, this energy is turned into wu wei, which means either emptiness or perfect balance and harmony. All right, and this happens at the upper dantian, which is pretty much in the center of your head behind what would be maybe your third eye or the center of your forehead between the eyebrows. So it's kind of right behind there in the center of the head there. And it's thought that we really, that's really one of the main goals of Tai Chi is to create balance and harmony. All right, so no matter what it is you believe in or what you do, who doesn't want more balance and harmony, right? So, so it's, it's good to do with whatever else you like as, as well. So it really is very universal, which is why I love it. All right, and so we have the lower Dantian. Once again, it's located pretty much right below the navel in the middle of the abdominal cavity. The middle Dantian is pretty much right behind the sternum in the middle um, by your heart. And then the upper Dantian, once again, it's, it's in the head directly behind the point centered between your eyebrows. All right, so the cultivation and process of turning Jing to Qi, Qi to Shen, and Shen to Wu Wei is a way to achieve balance and harmony in mind, body, and spirit. So by doing so, one can improve health, well-being, and martial arts, if that's something you're into as well. All right, and so what we'll do today is we're going to do a 15-minute flow. We'll start off with cultivating and stimulating these energy centers, and then we'll do our usual Tai Chi movements that many of you are used to already. And any, anytime we're doing Tai Chi, we're cultivating this energy. So, but today we'll be a little specific at the beginning. And then once again, after the flow, we'll do a guided meditation to really focus on it and really create balance and harmony. All right, so without further ado, find a place where you can do some mindful movement. You don't need a lot of space, just enough room to reach your arms out to the sides and enough to take a step forward and take a step back. You can do this sitting in a chair if you like, but if you can stand, I do recommend that. All right, so as always, don't worry about getting the movements perfect. Just follow along the best you can. I'll be your mirror image. And then I do cue the breathing, but you can always just breathe normal. All right, don't worry about syncing everything together, especially if you're new, just get familiar with the movements. You have the rest of your life to fine tune. All right, it's a cumulative effect. So make sure you practice often, even if it doesn't look perfect, you'll still get the benefits, which is what you're all here for. All right, and so we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen, and just taking a few deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Arriving in the body. Feeling grounded and centered. Just letting go of all the worries from the day. Coming into the here and now. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment and then let it out with a big sigh, <sighs> letting out tension and stress. And then from here, we'll begin to very gently knock on the lower dantian, right in the lower abdomen. So stimulating the reservoir of energy. All right, or you can just do some rubbing if the knocking doesn't feel good. All right, but if you want, you can just tap gently with two loose fists or rub, either one's fine. And then we'll work to the middle Dantian, so right in front of your heart and your chest, so stimulating that energy. Once again, you can always just rub, making circles. And then coming up to the forehead, very gently with your fingertips, just tapping the forehead. It's really having this intention for healing and vitality and perfect harmony and balance. Or once again, you can always just rub the forehead if that feels better than tapping. All right, and then just let the arms float down and just feel into the body. Just taking a moment to notice any sensations that arise. 
You might notice a tingling or a warmth. That's the energy, the chi, the life force. And then from here, on the next inhale, the arms float out to the sides. They circle in front as if you're gathering in energy, bring it into the heart. And then breathing out, the hands float down, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, directing down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Once again, grounding the energy, feeling rooted into the earth. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. Then the arms get heavy, floating down. The knees and hips soften. Breathing in, rising up like mist from the lake. Breathing out, floating down like a soft rain. We call this opening the door, the start of the journey. All right, one more time, rising up and then floating down. And then this time, as the arms float up, draw the hands in towards the heart and then push straight out in front. The hands come back in towards the heart and down. So rising up, coming in towards the heart, pushing straight out, coming back in and down. We call this opening the flow. So it's really feeling the energy in the body or any sensations. Coming in and down. One more time, open the flow. Coming up and towards the heart, pushing straight out, back in and down. And then the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, the fingertips point up. Very gently rotate to one side. One hand spirals forward, the other spirals behind, making the tiger claws. Other side, gentle rotation. One hand comes forward, the other behind. The tiger claw. Breathing in as you rise up. <sighs> Breathing out, letting go. Gentle stretch, never forcing it. Just easing in one more time, the tiger claw. This time the fingertips keep going up overhead, right up the midline of the body. Then they spiral out and away from each other. We call this silk reeling, upward spirals. Spiraling the energy throughout the body and mind. Circulating the blood flow as well. Creating healing and vitality in the body and mind. One more time, silk reeling, upward spirals. And then reverse direction, the arms float all the way up and over. Taking your time, the fingertips point down. The hands float down the midline and then spiral out and away. The downward spirals, rising up. Floating down, softening the hips and knees, and then rising back up. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Just taking your time, one more time. Downward spirals. And then circle the arms in front and hug the tree. From here, the arms open up wide. This hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. The top hand goes behind the back and then step out to the corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand guides the moon into the clouds, tossing it away. Circle it around again, tossing the moon. And then the other hand comes back on top, embrace the moon. The bottom hand floats up, the other hand floats down. Circle it around again, parting the wild horse's mane. It's taking your time, the slower the better. That way you can really feel the sensations being present. Mindful movement. How mindful can you be? One more time. All right, this time we'll catch the moon and then make two loose fists and then spin the moon and then very gently look behind or to the side. One fist goes overhead, the other by the waist and then Uncoiling, coming back to center, catch the moon. Once again, two loose fists, spin the moon, look behind. Gentle rotation, 
or looking just to the side, once again, never forcing it, just easing in. Riding the tiger. All right, one more time, catch the moon, two loose fists, spin the moon, gentle rotation, one fist overhead, the other by the waist. All right, this time, we'll part the horse's mane one more time to this side, right out to the corner. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree. The arms open wide. And then this hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. Top hand goes behind the back, just for now. Step out to the corner. Bottom hand tosses the moon into the sky. Circle it around again, toss away. This time the other hand comes back on top. Embrace the moon. Bottom hand floats up, the other hand floats down. Parting the wild horse's mane. Creating tranquility out of chaos. The calm within the storm. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out or taking as many breaths as you need. One more time. And don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. This time catch the moon, and then make two loose fists, and then we'll spin the moon, look behind, or gently to the side. One fist overhead, the other by the waist. And coming back to center, releasing, catching the moon. Two loose fists, riding the tiger. Very powerful movement. Breathing in and breathing out, Just feeling rooted. Feeling stable. Increasing the flexibility as well. One more time. Ride the tiger. Parting horse's mane one last time, right out to the corner, just to keep it flowing. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The hands float down, step one foot in, coming on the ball of the foot. The arms float out to the sides like a beautiful bird, the crane. And you can keep your foot down or you can lift it up, touching down as needed. And then this time the arms can float up overhead just as much as you can comfortably. And then step down, other side, just the arms at first, the crane. Breathing in, breathing out. Keeping your foot down or lifting up. Just meeting yourself where you're at. You can always go forward from there. This time up and over. And then stepping down to center, this time the palms face up. The hands come forward as the hips go back. Then the palms face away from each other. They open as you rise up, scooping under, two hands offering. The hands go forward, the hips go back, softening the hips and knees, palms face away, Rise up as you open, scoop under, offering love and compassion, offering presence, offering forgiveness, and anything else you'd like to see in the world. One more time, two hands offering. And then reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hug the tree. And then from here, the arms open wide. This hand here drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions. And they float across like clouds in the sky. The hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Softening the shoulders, softening the neck, using only what you need. Like a moving meditation. Really feeling into the body. And then this time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up and then the bottom hand floats across the horizon. The palm turns out and then circle it around again. Single whip. The hand floats across, palm turns out. All right, this time you can step in if you like and then step out as the hand floats across. All right, one more time, single whip. 
and then release the hook. The hand drifts over, cloud hands. Take your time as you step in, drift across, letting go, breathing. Nice and soft, one more time. This time the top hand makes a hook. Bottom hand comes up and then floats across the horizon. The palm turns out. Circle it around again, single whip. The palm turns out. And then this time you can step in if you like and then step out as the hand floats across. One more time, single whip. And then release the hook, the hand drifts over, the hands become clouds. Stepping in, take your time, drifting across, just letting go of any tension you don't need, moving like nature with effortless ease. How soft can you be? We'll drift across a few more times, wave hands like clouds. All right, one more time. And then from here, making two loose fists, reverse direction, we'll drag the clouds across the sky. And then switch. The fist comes up, the other one down, drift across the storm clouds. Two loose fists, drifting across, breathing. Gentle rotation. One more time, storm clouds. Then the arms drift down, floating up to shoulder height on the other side. And then switching sides again. This time the palms face away. The hands drift right across the horizon and then down, drifting up, float across, painting on the canvas. It's like you're making nice gentle brush strokes with your hands. One more time. This time the arms float all the way up and over like a big wave. The chin circles. So just coming up as much as you can comfortably, opening the shoulders, lubricating the joints, creating freedom of movement. One more time. And then reverse direction. The arms float up to shoulder height, palms face away, drift across. And then down. Floating up, drift across, painting on the canvas. One more time, breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. Or take as many breaths as you need. This time the arms float up and over, the chin circles. Just keep on breathing, keep on moving. Or you can always take a break if you need to as well. One more time, chin circles. and then circle all the way in front and hug the tree. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the arms open up wide, the wrists cross down low. And then as you rise up, the arms open overhead, floating all the way out and down. Gathering the energy from the earth, giving it back to the sky above, harmonizing yin and yang, creating balance and harmony in the body and mind gathering the energy, bringing it up through the centers, the lower, middle, and upper dantian, and then release. One more time, harmonizing yin and yang. And then reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hug the tree, step one foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms open wide, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other, and then this hand floats all the way up and over, down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering. Calming the heart, calming the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over just as much as you can. 
The hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. Then circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right in front of the body. Coming under and then back up to the heart. And down. One more time, open the heart. Rising up, softening down. This time making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart and then press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze, letting your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. Just feeling all the sensations in the body that arise. Feel the sensations of the breath. And then bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile. Expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And then if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart and we can finish with a bow. Thank you so much for joining me for this Tai Chi flow. So as always, I'd love to hear about your experience so far. So please tune into your body, notice how you're feeling, and then type in the comments how you're feeling right now. All right, and then stick around for a few more minutes. We'll do a guided meditation on the three treasures as well. All right, it'll probably just be a few uh, five minute meditation. Oh, thanks, Karen. Beautifully energized. I love that one. All right, feeling grounded, calming, relaxed, stretched. All right, feeling looser, calm and serene. Oh, I like that one too. Thanks. They're coming in fast, so I can't keep up with them. So, <laughs> but yeah, please type in there. Let me know how you're feeling. I love hearing about your experience, and I'm sure others do too. It's a really great way to connect people from all over the world. All right, and so while you're typing in there, I also wanted to remind you that we're gonna do a, about a five minute guided meditation on the three treasures. So if you're interested in really cultivating this energy even more and really creating even more inner peace and balance, then stick around, we'll do that now. All right, so begin by finding a comfortable seated position. You can close your eyes, or you can keep a soft gaze. You can place your hands on your lap or anywhere that feels effortless. And then get as tall as you can, rising up through the crown of your head, and then softening slightly so you feel alert but relaxed. Then you can take a nice, slow, deep breath in through the nose, and then an even longer exhale through the mouth. Just letting out tension and stress. And you can do that again two more times, nice and slow. In through the nose and then out through the nose or the mouth. Just letting your body relax, turning your focus inward. And then just letting your breathing return to its normal pattern. And maybe just observing the breath for a few moments. 
And if your mind wanders at all during this meditation, you can simply note that as thinking and with kindness, very gently bring your attention back to your breath as your anchor. And you can continue just to follow the breath and that can be a great meditation all on its own. Or if you like, you can follow along with the three treasures. So we'll begin by focusing on the lower Dantian. So imagine a warm, glowing light, about two finger widths below your navel in the center of your abdominal cavity. This is your lower Dantian, the home of Jing. Visualize this light as a reservoir of your vital essence, glowing brighter with each breath. With every inhale, draw energy from the earth below you to this center, feeling the Jing energy become stronger. A few more breaths, strengthening the Jing energy, the lower Dantian, the abdominal cavity. And then as you feel this Jing energy stabilize, imagine it transforming into Qi, your life force energy. Visualize this energy rising up to the middle Dantian, located behind your sternum, filling your chest with a bright, radiant light. Breathe into this space and feel your vitality increase, empowering every cell of your body. With your chi strong, let this energy rise further up to the upper Dantian, located in the center of your head, directly behind the point between your eyebrows. Here the energy transforms into Shen, your spiritual essence. See this as a brilliant light, expanding your awareness and connecting you to a state of higher consciousness. And as Shen fills your upper Dantian, imagine it elevating your spirit to a state of Wu Wei, where balance and harmony are perfect. Feel a sense of emptiness, yet complete equilibrium, as if you are both nothing and everything, existing in perfect peace and unity with the universe. And now visualize these three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shen, flowing seamlessly between the energy centers. With each breath, strengthen their connection, enhancing balance and harmony within. Feel the energy circulating smoothly, supporting your health, well-being, and inner peace. And then you can take three deep, slow, grounding breaths. So breathing in slowly through the nose, and then out through the nose or out through the mouth. And gently bring your awareness back to the present moment back into the body, 
feeling yourself here and now. And then whenever you're ready, if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them, letting in the light, connecting back with the world around you. Right, and today's quote is from Sakyong Mipam, who said, the body benefits from movement and the mind benefits from stillness. The beautiful thing about Tai Chi is we can actually find stillness within the movement. So you get two for one. <laughs> but I also like seated guided meditation as well to really cultivate even more inner peace and harmony. All right, well, please let me know how you like the meditation so we can have more of those if people like those. We usually stick to more mindfulness meditations, but I wanted to bring in uh, something a little different today. So let me know if you liked it. Um, and we could do some more of that in the future. All right, and then also please, if you're new to the community, once again, register for your new member webinar. It's this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. We'll, we'll do an even longer Tai Chi flow and lots of other great stuff that we'll do. So make sure to register. Even if you can't make it, I'll send you the link to the replay. If you can't find the link for some reason, just type webinar in the, in the comments. All right. Oh, and then also we have a teacher training webinar. So if you're interested in learning more about our teacher training, if you want to share this with others or just go deeper with your own practice, then there's another link uh, in the video description and you can register for that webinar. It's this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern USA time. All right. If you can't find that, then just write teacher training uh, in the comments and I'll send you that link. All right. You can do both, by the way. So we can just make the whole day of Tai Chi. <laughs> so, so I love doing it. So, All right. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate your time, your presence, and your energy. All right. And I'll go through all your comments. So thank you so much for connecting. And I look forward to seeing you all again real soon. Peace.